let's get ready to we're back like the juggernaut bitch this is alex lexis new gaming order staff on your knees shinwar and co-producer nelson and we're hitting you with our next topic now fighting game community fans um apparently there was a big boo boo snafu mishap at a major tournament now uh i'm gonna give shinwar the introduction um you know spotlight for this and we'll give our thoughts so shinwar take it away all right so uh last weekend there was a a major tournament out in uh north cow called nc well north cow regional 2015 short ncr i will refer it to ncr from here on out so they were uh going through ultra street fighter 4 uh tournament and i believe they get they got to top eight and um they ran the first two matches i can't think about who the first two matches were and uh go through it smoothly was it two or three nelson was the first three or was it the first two before they recognized the error um it was the full winners um yeah the full winners bracket and then they got to the first losers and then they realized right. it okay so it was so, four matches before that right so and we get to snake eyes versus ricky ortiz and I forgot who it was that noticed it, but they noticed Snake Eyes' green hand was going the further the further distance. Um, in an Ultra version 1.04, they shortened his distance with his green hand, so that's how they noticed they they were playing the wrong version. So with that, um, the TOs and whoever the judges were decided to run top eight back. From, from the beginning. Now, my my gripe with that is two things. We're on the East Coast. Now, okay, when you're in top eight, it switches from best of two out of three to three out of five. These matches run long, so they're on the West Coast. They're three hours behind, and it's already late here on the East Coast. So I'm like, dag, you know, I got to go to work in the morning, whatever. I'm trying to stay up as much as possible to watch it. But either way, that that's fine. That's fine. Now, um, who was it? Justin Wong versus uh, who did he fight? Um, Gamer B. Now, in the first set of matches, he won. Mm -hmm. They switch over to 1.04. He beat him. Okay, fine. So it looks like consistently, no matter what the version was, Wong um, still won. Justin Wong yeah. still won. Right. So the next, the next, one of the next rounds, I'm, I'm probably going out of order, but there was Kazunoko, who's a Japanese player, real good player with Yun, um, and he fought Knuckledo from Florida, who was a well-known Gao player, probably second to Dominion. So when they, their first set of matches before the switchover was a crazy match. They had a double DQ. It was crazy, um, and Kazunoko was beating. He beat Knuckledo. Okay, fine. So when they switch over to 1.04, obviously they they fought again. Knuckle do one. Mm. Now, regardless of the changes with Yun, I felt bad for Kazunoko because you can see the look in his face after the match was over. Like, dag, I can't believe I replayed this. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And Alex Alex had brought this up um, when we when we uh, spoke about it. He was like, you know, when you fight somebody and you, you get another chance you can see patterns and you download them or whatever the case may be yes i yeah, feel absolutely. i feel right i feel like the winners could have they should have i guess refute it and like no well, you know we're not gonna do this mm -hmm. um now whatever and if that's the it, decision, it's like an unfair the, advantage because it's like you already play test them or you had like a, a good scouting of that person's uh, habits right you know what right I mean? and then you and, put it right back it's like okay you know what if they didn't adapt quickly enough during the fight, and then it's like, okay, now I got a rematch. Oh, how me and Shinwar is uh, unbelievable. I want a re RE match. So, yeah. you know what I mean? So, if you know that this person likes to, you know, we're fighting uh, Hasten CJ, and I found out, okay, he likes to do some standing uppercuts with Cody. Shots fired. Yeah, you can't, you can't jump in, you know? And if it was a tournament setting, and, and I lost to that initially, all right, hey, I lost. I'll come back better. But... To get that right around the, the corner, a quick rematch like that, and it, it's not fair, so to speak, 
to all parties involved because now they got the intel. Right. Know? And 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 quickly PR Rog tweeted uh during that, that whole debacle that they were using his Xbox, which was updated to version 1.4 on Friday and Saturday. So between Saturday and Sunday at that point in time, the consoles got switched. Now, who did? Hey, nobody knows. I don't know. Nobody knows. So. But I, I just to close my part out, I just thought it was kind of crazy. Like, it should have just, if they needed to, to redo, it should have just started off with Ricky Ortiz. And Snake Eyes' match. You, when you look at football or anything, if the ref makes a bad call, okay, he makes a bad call. The and they game can't, keeps they, going. They, they don't replay the game. You're not gonna restart the game from the yeah, from, not, from the very I've beginning. I've never seen that in the NBA, NFL, MLB that they stop the game because oh yeah, you know what? Uh, the ref called it a certain way. You know, I mean, that all, all they can do is complain about it after the fact and then fix right. it next time. You know, right. but to the ones that did advance, I don't think that's fair to them. And, you know, kind of, you know, let's say if it was like Smash Brothers and there was a patch or something and somebody didn't do their part, then the tournament organizers, whoever swapped that console, I think something shady was going on. And they should have some sort of committee or investigate that because it seems that how is it PR Rob said, hey, my system was updated. Who, who swapped it? Why did they swap it? There was no reason right. to, right? And, 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 right, right, right. No, I, I agree with you. And another thing is, um, NCR is a major. And it's, I believe it, yeah, it's part of the Capcom Pro Tour. So now, Question Capcom the legitimacy is, of uh, the organizers. and Right, and, it's not like some rinky-dink tournament held around a corner with like 10 people. Mm-hmm. No, this is a major. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I just thought that was pretty messed up. And, I, and honestly, I, I really felt bad for Kazunoko because he played his heart out in that first set. Him and Knuckle Dude. Mm-hmm. All right. So, but it is what it is. Okay. So, um, to give on your knees just a, a second to chat on this, like, do you think it's fair if they run a tournament, Smash Brothers or whatever, right? You're already advanced. They're already deep into the tournament, and they're like, oh, no, no, we have to do this segment of the tournament again. Do you think that's fair to all parties the, involved? The people that won? Yeah, and yeah, I mean, if you're a loser, I'm sorry, Chris, real quick. If you lost, you're happy. You're like, oh, shoot, I get another chance. Yeah, but yeah, you yeah. won. It's like, yo, okay, I just beat this guy. Like, eh, that's... Yeah, so. yeah, it sounds like someone fucked up bad. Um, you know, this is kind of like the casino suing the uh, players because they made a mistake. Uh, mm, some yeah, sort of yeah, deal, yeah. Which just happened the other day. They, uh, some people had to return their money in AC, like uh, 1.3 million or something, because they didn't what? shuffle the decks right. What? Uh, yeah, that that was uh, came out this week. The, the court decision for that, but um, back. So on wait, topic, wait, wait. So the, their winnings, they had to give it yeah, back to the casino. There was like there were like 20 players. They um won 1.3 million between all of them and they have to return it because the de- the uh, casino didn't shuffle the cards properly. I don't think that's fair. Yeah, that's so that's unbelievable. Like, you know what? They shouldn't have to give that back when it was their fuck up. Yeah, so, so the same the thing same with thing. these winners. Like, yeah. it, it, they shouldn't have to give up their, you know, those who lost after winning initially don't know. I'm like, hey, I won. I, I, I did this. You got to check the you know, they got to check their own rules for the tournaments if a mistake like that happens, so it's the proper procedure. Especially, right. this is a major. This is officially sponsored by Cop- Capcom or someone, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. you serious, Chris? They had to give all that money back. Yeah, so the same thing applies <laughs> there. You can... Well, with this, though, you oh can actually go goodness. to... You can you can go to Cop- Capcom, because I'm sure there's rules on the, how these sort of things should be uh, handled. Mm-hmm. And it probably wasn't handled the right way to have it rolled back. It's just like, I'll make another uh, illusion. It was the 82 Olympics where they, uh, the Russian, Russian basketball team was given three tries to sink a basket. They kept rolling oh. the clock back and gave it three chances to win. To the what? Point where, yeah, it, 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 that's a big thing. Um, look up uh, Russian basketball team wins Olympic uh, sport, uh, Olympic uh, we'll, we'll put it in the links below. For the, but the, the that, that was in the 80s where they got three chances. The, the rest were essentially they were European rest, so there's a lot of corruption with European judges with that sort of thing. But um, yeah, they rolled the clock back to the point where a lot of those Olympic players, if they're ever given the medal posthumously, mm-hmm. it's in their will to deny the medals. Wow. Right, right, right. 
Unbelievable. Good yeah, point, so, Chris. Good point. You know? So th th this is just all in the tournament organizers. You know, it sucks for the players. I think Alex is right. They should have said, no, I'm not doing this again. You fucked up. Why should I be penalized? Yeah. yeah. So that's on them. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I would have... I probably wouldn't have walked out, especially if there was prize money at stake, because if you walk out, you're not going to get it. Yeah, and yeah. most people are going to think you're a little bitch for walking out, even though it's probably the right thing to do in this case. Yeah. Um, uh, but, but, but you know what? Th thank you, Chris. You brought in some very, very good uh, analogies there, for that situation. Yeah, the best thing they could probably do is keep filing complaints with Capcom. It's probably the best thing they could do at this point. Honestly, or whoever, or whoever Capcom, be if, since it's a Capcom thing... And being that Capcom has sided with Sony for, you know, certain games in terms of fighters, Capcom and Sony should take that responsibility out of the hands of the tournament organizers. And, and, mm -hmm. and you know, well, maybe, they... maybe my knowledge is, 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 is shallow, but whoever pro provided those consoles, I don't think they should be doing it anymore. It should be Capcom or Sony uh -huh. produce the consoles. You make sure that well, you no, no, no. Well, you know, I think this was. You gotta um, consult the, the rules. That was 360. Right? If I'm not mistaken, it was 360. Okay. Yeah, I mean, whoever, which, regardless of the console, whoever, mm -hmm. like, was sponsoring and doing all that, just like when we used, well, when NMO was under uh, King of the Couch for a little while with the partnership with GameStop, they provided the consoles. You know what I mean? And it was up to us to make sure, hey, you know what? Boom. Updates, uh, this and that. that, that someone's got to check the the rule book on how these sort of things should should have been handled. Uh, is right. the first thing. Because that you sounds know. like it was a. I'm sorry, Chris. It just sounds like there was there was a last minute thing. Like, oh shoot, what do we do? Mm. And then they were like, oh well, just run it back. Like, yeah, yeah they, I don't they think there was the a specific WWE rule. Triple H trying to do damage control and fix things, you know. But in in essence, I don't think it was fair. Atlantic City was wrong for asking for that money back when it was their people who messed up. And the same thing happens with this tournament organizer. So, for, yeah. for time's sake, uh, Nelson, what are your thoughts on what the, the fuck up with uh, NorCal Reason? Well, I, I'm just going to be as blunt as possible. I don't give two fucks because it's not my issue. It's their problem. And for all the people who won, this is how I see it. If you won your match first time around, you should be strong enough to do it again. And if you lost, just like how Kazunoko did, he apparently just gave up. He he didn't expect to play. He probably again. was spent. He's probably was spent. Like oh man. Okay, but but the thing is, everyone replay their matches. It's not just him. Yeah, the I whole world does not resolve around Kazunoko. So in my honest opinion, people feel bad for him. He got what was coming to him, honestly, because he thought he was all but high how do shit. We know? He didn't know that was coming to him. You know no I mean? one did. No one did. Yeah, not so none it's of not the fair eight to players. Say that oh, he got what was coming to him. No, it, no, it is because look. So you're telling me that you would rightfully say, "All right, you guys won your matches. Let's just start from losers." So you're basically shutting out the people who lost when they kind of probably had a better advantage with that applied patch update. That's why I was kind of glad that they restarted the whole thing and they just leave it in limbo because then you would have made it a worse situation. Mm -hmm. Because then all the people who lost, they would be like, yo, what the fuck, man? Like, oh, now they get to just start off from where they're at and what happened yeah, if okay. I could have won my match. So mm -hmm. Justin won his match in a double repeat. Kazunoko won one and lost one. Knuckle Dude took it, uh, the other one. Mm -hmm. You had Smug versus Daigo. Daigo. No, 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 no. It was Smug Punko. Well, S Smug law, um, won against Punko. He beat uh, him twice. Yeah. Uh, Daigo won his match, of course, and then he ended up taking the whole thing. And then people was like, oh, this shit is fixed. Daigo should have never won that. Gamer B should have won. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude. I don't care. It, it's just it, what it is. Is one, I'm just gonna be realistic because of the way how I'm in my mood today. The FGC is not organized. They're not esports. They're not in a major collaboration. These are all random people mm. trying to come together to try to bring something to the people. Okay, Capcom is not officially organized when it comes to tournaments. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's here's what could have happened. You could have not brought in your consoles and not have to worry about a priority of things getting switched out. And it would be up to the person such as Capcom or whoever's running the event, the NCR. So that has to go to yeah, that's what I was saying. one of the pro players that was running the tournament. And then 
on top of that there was more things that was happening in NCR I don't know if anyone knows this but of course I'll open my big mouth because I don't care Spooky got half of his equipment stolen that same night Unbelievable. and no one what? wanted to do nothing about it and mm. apparently they kept it in the room and where they had to lock up all the equipment in storage and two arcade sticks and something else just got wiped out Probably some hopeless ass person that thought they wasn't gonna make it that far in the tournament just ran in and just swooped the shit. So there was a whole bunch of problems happening at that day. So all in all, yeah, you guys need to fix your shit because now you're gonna even be looked at more as a very unorganized um, TOs in the future. Yeah, things are in question now. You know, it's like, okay, can we trust these guys to make sure that they're running a steady baseline? for standards and, and double checking and so on and so forth i mean now it, it's just for next year folks are gonna have to double check and say hey let's make sure the version well, is, is right well the thing is it's not even next year i mean if you have another tournament in the next following month actually you have one this saturday that i'm going to mm -hmm. so now i'm gonna like be the dummy that i am but like yo what version is that because I'm not going to play anything if it's 1.3. Yeah, it's, yeah, you know. yeah. Oh, man. And then and so people... instead of button check, version check, is that something that they need to add? Yep, they're going to have to do that. Every time when they, when someone comes on the screen, they, everyone gets to have their one chance to go to the options, go to the buttons. And when you back out from there, it tells you the version on the bottom of the right-hand corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. Okay. people's going to have to start doing that. You guys really did fuck up because not only did you make a lot of people mad, now you're going to discourage the people who did win their matches and end up losing to not come onto your tournament event ever again, such as Kazunoko. He might not come back mm. because of that. So, hey, shit happens. You guys lost. You guys won. Did what you had to do. Congrats to Daigo as usual because he always seems to be winning. And man. okay, with that being said, we're gonna bring this uh, segment yeah, to a before close. Before you, mm -hmm. before you close, um, it was the 1972 Olympics for the basketball. Team. <laughs> Day. All right, a bit of history for our, our audience. So um, with that, we're gonna bring this segment to a close. Make sure you check out our first segment um, on the YouTube for our YouTube audience. Those who are watching live, you're getting the director's cut, all the inter immediate stuff and we'll go on from there but uh with that we out like the juggernaut bitch for youtube on this segment our live audience make sure you uh stick with us and we'll be back for the next segment peace